Shabalada na bakwaska brada babula da kabaska baria na baska. Babalai na kabaska brada babala do la bakaska bia. Rababai na kobas. Shababala na kabaska brada babala do la babaska da. Mai babona kabale da na baska brada babala do aska da. There is so much to God that that which we think we know. A lot of time when God begins to reveal Himself to you, you just realize how weak a man you are. That is why on continual deliberate basis. We must of necessity cry out to God to help our infirmity. No matter the level upon which a man is, there are some couple of infirmity that God left there. The reason is that man never come to a point where he can exist without God. The Bible says, "Even the beings in heaven cry holy on continual basis upon their proximity with God. They cannot be able to fathom all that God is." <laughs> I'm still waiting for the day that mankind can decipher the whole of God. That day will never come. The day that mankind can understand the whole of God, God ceases to be God. He now become a man. The reason why God is God is because He dwells in a class all by Himself. That the best of us we still have to cry, "Holy, reveal to me again more of You." Ha. At the end of the journey of Paul, he cried a cry that we have to cry that I may know Him. One true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have said, brethren, there is enough we have to do, and somehow time is against us. The revelation upon which we are focusing in Christianity, arguing every day, is a waste of time. We need to be able to come into the realm of reality. The entire creation is not waiting for our demonstration of language and exegesis in knowledge. No. It wait for us to come into full functionality in keeping to the reality of that which God has apportioned unto us. No wonder angels look at us and they wonder, "Where is the man that thou art mindful of him? Why are you coming to man? What power? What strength? What energy does man has that God wastes his resources upon? It's because there is a hope that God has upon mankind that a man can walk with God to come to a point where the intention of God from the very beginning can be fulfilled." Let us make man in our own image, at our own likeness, that mankind can look like us. We are in a process and a protocol to look like God, but many can die, fall in the outer court before they look like God. I don't want to die like every other man. I have chosen a long time ago to die as gods. So he called them gods unto whom the word of the Lord came, and the scriptures cannot be broken. Sons of the Most High are we. No man can stand against us. No man can resist us. The Bible said they look through Babylon. They cannot find anyone that is as strong as Daniel. He rose in times of obscurity. They say upon this one is the spirit of the Holy Ghost that dwell upon. There was a man that the spirit of the entire gods of Babylon dwell inside of him, and he see the divine man that represents Zion. You can come to a point where no realm of power is powerful enough, powerful enough against you. When you journey through all the corridor in life, you will encounter God as the all of all. The only potency of God grants Him the ability to feed the whole creation. You cannot journey anywhere, anywhere and not find God. There is no region where a man is Lord. If you are Lord, I let you understand there is another Lord of Lords. If you are a king, there is another King of Kings. If you are a God. There is another God of God. And the best we can do is to cast down our crowns and ask Him to lead us, Oh Mighty One. Can you cry in one minute again as we journey further? My friend, lay a foundation that is high. I trust God for all to mount up, but I assure you, it's possible for you not to be able to harness. That which has been communicated to you, as the Lord to grant unto you the ability to understand. 
Mimi na kabila tokwa. Rabatash kabatena. The entire of a boy state is waiting for you. I know you are waiting boy is waiting for you. Everything will conform to your level of growth in God. The reason why things are the way they are, that we say, Ram, you have not come into. I assure you, the scriptures cannot be broken. It can't. They seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness. All other things will be added. If they are not added, the kingdom must not well be sick within you. Mainly a kabas kabata. Rababata na kabas kabata kabelata. Baina ke kaba. Barandes koban keti. Ahuabata na kabaska. Bande kebe na kabai kabodata. Jesus. My desire is to walk with you, my Savior, on this holy journey until I am home. My desire, my desire, my desire is to walk with you, my Savior. On this holy journey until I am who my desire, my desire, my desire, my desire is to walk with you, my savior. On this holy journey until I am who. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Help our infirmity, O great one of Zion. Quicken us that we may call upon thy name. Strengthen our feebleness. You are the one that takes pleasure in helping the infirmity of mankind. Here we are again. If you do not help us, we fail. Thank you, Jesus. 
जान आई वांच दुई जान दी जान जान आई वांच दुई जान Chanadi, I want to know you. I want to know you, my Chanadi. Chanadi, Chanadi, I want to know you. I want to know you, my Chanadi. Chanadi, I want to see you. I want to see you, my Chanadi. Hey, hey, oh Lord, Chanadi, Chanadi, I want to see you. I want to see you, my Chanadi. Chanadi, Chanadi, I want to know you. I want to know you, my Chanadi. I, Chanadi, Chanadi, I want to see you. I want to see. I want to do you my eternity. 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 Lord, I want to know you more eternally. Hey, 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 eternally, eternally. I want to know you. I want to know you more eternally. Hey, 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 eternally. I want to know you. I want to know you, my Chanadi. Hey, 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 Chanadi. Hey, Chanadi. I want to see you. I want to see you, my Chanadi. Hey, hey, oh Lord. Chanadi, I want to see you. I want to see you more. Chanadi, 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 I want to know you. I want to know you. More eternally, I eternally, eternally. I want to see you. I want to see you more eternally. Hallelujah. If you can. Have your seat. As we take another journey. Before we advance, I want you to 
help me appreciate the set man of the light nexus pastor solomon Bebe. thank you so much for having us around here in abakinike now i came in yesterday for monisha i was so tired and that was why yesterday i can only but give a salutation I was so tired that when the Lord appeared to me, he told me, go and sleep. Spirit rest. It's only the devil that don't rest. I have seen a lot of people that take pleasure in how much more they don't rest. It's not an achievement. God rested. One of the ways you must refresh yourself is to learn the way how to rest. Nobody say you should sleep. We say rest. I refer to sleep as summary. A true man that walk according to destiny must learn how to summarize his sleep. You can never have enough. But you must have to learn how to rest. If you don't rest, you won't be refreshed. Part of the way you rest is to wait upon the Lord, as he said. Also help me appreciate Apostle Joshua Otega and our Pastor Epineza Aku. Yesterday, he flew with us. And today, it was another dose. I felt as though they should allow him to just continue. Help me appreciate my brother. Sincerely speaking, I was so blessed. He's truly a man that God has helped and a man that has worked with God. The grandpapa, the former president of NCCF, Abakilike, right? Uh, Pastor Daniel. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so, so much. You know, I was just, while you were talking, I was wondering. I said, God has people. The truth is this. There is so much that we need to do in the body of Christ. Somehow, we have not been able to actualize more. When you set up a conference such as this, you must be willing to wait upon the Lord. A lot of times I've seen people always in a rush to run away. Yesterday, people were saying we should not even close because it was too early. I said, you know what, today you will beg us to close because there will be enough for your spirit to take back home. It gave a little bit much more perspective to that which we've been dealing with. I want to see how I can come in another angle. It is truly impossible for a man to walk with God without faith. Everyone that walk with God, they predicated upon the strength of their walking with God was their faith. The precursor for your working with God has to begin upon the platform and the foundation of your faith. The challenge is this. What then is faith? A lot of people will keep wondering, then don't we have faith? The Bible speaks about how much God, how much Abraham walked with God and it was referred to him as the father of faith. What then did Abraham do? If you can be able to understand the things that the Asian did, the covenant they initiated with God, how they judged God faithful in their days of little beginning, how they were able to trust the Lord in dying times, you may be able to do the same. But the challenge we have in the body of Christ is that a lot of people do not know the ways of God. What they know is the act of God. You know the things that God has done to them? In keeping to the testimonies they have believing in God but they cannot be able to see the power of their faith in how much more they can be able to endure and these are some of the things that can't you walk in the spirit any man that you see that bear relevance in God is not because God gave him a testimony but I believe that when you begin to advance in God God gives you testimony to a point he comes and he stops giving you testimony <laughs> he brings you to a point where you have to begin to believe in him and trust in him even when that which you believe did not come to pass. When you begin to walk not in keeping to looking out for testimonies, your goal will now become seeking the kingdom. 
By the time you now find the kingdom, you begin to get everything you think to be testimony as a reward of your working with God. There are a lot of things in the kingdom that are not claiming and professing. A babe can do that. But when you begin to advance with God, to walk with God in deeper waters, he let you understand that you have not to walk by sight now, you have to walk by faith. A lot of time, for you not to walk by sight, so that you can walk by faith, is that God will always hide certain substance of reality in a realm beyond you. That will be the reason why you continue to journey. If all your prayer points were answered by God, I assure you, you may not be here today. You may not even need God. I thought God will not answer every prayer point so that you can walk by faith. But at the tail end, there will be a lot of things that will be to you an appetizer so that you can keep you on check. What then is faith? I believe that the book of Hebrews, let me leave you about the authorship. But whosoever you believe that wrote the book of Hebrews, did a very good job. Apart from Ephesians, the book of Hebrews is one of the most spiritual books I've seen in the Bible. One of the books that caps encapsulate some of the deepest spiritual truths that you can ever have. Any believer that has not sit down to do an exegesis and digest the book of Hebrews may have a challenge in understanding who he is, who God is, priesthood, and how much more he can walk in God. The writer of the book of Hebrews begin to give us an understanding to faith. Let us understand that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that are not seen. Now, say by it, the elders obtain a good report. Pastor Dan gave us a better understanding to let us understand that everything they obtained was what? A good report. You know, he dig into all my archives of what I wanted to say, and that's why I know he's a spiritual man. Whether you like it or not, a good report is not enough. What we are looking for is not good report. A report card is not the aim of your schooling. It's a certification. And at the tail end of your journey of faith, there is a certification of a crown that will be put upon you. You can have a good report and not be crowned by God. When you go to the book of Revelation, you see the reward of them that overcome. Most of those overcomers, some of them may not even have a good report. But through faith, we saw that they did a lot of things that helped them to be able to endure over time. And as men, we are getting good report upon the face of the earth. They were getting ranking in the spirit. And at the tail end, their placement in heaven was beyond the placement of mortal men. That was why when the Bible began to speak about the men that walk by faith in scripture, we saw some that walk by faith Others that walk through faith. And many of the people that walk by faith obtain a lot of good report. Some of the people that walk through faith may not obtain good report, but we saw the power of their faith at walking. And many of them were the ones that their names was chiseled in eternity. And it was almost forbidden for their name to be mentioned upon the face of the earth. Somehow, you have to come to a point where you do not just obtain a good report. You come to a point where in heaven a placement is kept for you. The Bible speaks about the elders how much more that with all their good report they were not made perfect. That which we look after for is the realm of perfection. The realm beyond the veil is the realm in the holies of holies. Many of them die in their inner place Others die in the outer court in their journey to obtaining perfection. A believer has to start walking by faith, then he walk through faith. The Bible speaks about how that through faith we are not being able to understand that the whole world was framed by the word of God. So that the things that we see today actually came from the things that we have not seen before. 
I want you to understand that it is impossible for you to actually walk with God without faith. The Bible speaking in another place, he said that no man has ever seen God. Anyone that has ever seen God has seen God from the eye vista of faith. And them that walk with Jesus in the flesh, themselves did not see God because they asked him, can you show us the way? Can you show us the Father? He spoke about it. And everything about truth was spoken by him. Yet they could not see it. He has to let them understand that this walking is a walking of faith, not a walking by sight. As much as you see me as the Christ, it's not a guarantee that you will receive the substance of reality. A spirit of truth will have to still come and lead you to the reality of God hidden in Christ Jesus. Whether you like it or not, you are a product of faith, you will survive by faith. You will live by faith. Everything you see today actually never existed there before. The chairs you are sitting upon right now, if we set fire on them, they will exist again. Does that mean they are not there? Actually, they are there, but they exist in a realm that will require faith for you to substantiate them. You yourself, you may exist today, tomorrow you may not exist. But does that mean you are dead? No, you live in another realm by faith. The reason why you believe that your tomorrow will become better than today is because of faith. There was once upon a time that there was nothing like the light nexus. There was once upon a time that there was not a convergence like this in Abakiliki. It exists in the realm of faith, but today it has been made manifest. I get what I'm saying now. You must understand that everything you are going to do in life will constitute the substance of faith. There are a lot of things about your life today that have not been visible yet, but they still exist in the realm of the spirit. That's what the Bible says. God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. How that there are a lot of things that are called the blessings of the Lord that lies in Christ Jesus that we need to bring them into manifestation by faith. The husband may not be there, but he will come by faith. The wife may not be there, she will come by faith. The job may not be there, it will come by faith. But mind you, faith is not that which is seen, it's that which is not seen. The only thing that you can see in faith is a persuasion, it's a conviction. That I may not see this here, but it exists. And being optimistic is a good thing, but you need to believe it according to the substance of truth, which is the word of God the word of God did not say it it may not actually exist for you do you know you don't need faith for that which you have I don't need faith for this phone I already have the phone you need faith for that which you do not have and that is why whatever level you are today in God you don't need faith for it again you must be able to desire much more and according to the capacity of God, God has enough sufficient abundantly for you to the degree to which you can be able to contain. The same thing works with the blessings of God. The same thing works with everything that God is. The degree to which you have the capacity to be able to bear to that degree to which it can be transcribed to you. A lot of times the reason why we remain the way we are is because as he said, we are comfortable where we are. You need some level of faith for you to be able to elongate the benchmark of grace so that you can be able to actualize more. But many more times, we do not see the need for that because we don't want to walk by faith. We want to be comfortable walking by sight.